Welcome back, welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Emerald National Dex, Iron Man, Nuzlocke, all these things. You guys know the deal by now. Um, we pick it up right where we left off, pretty much. Um, we just got past this cave, and we got a couple of trainers over here to do, and then we're gonna work our way back and go up. Um, there's no whistle to Silverwind. Uh, go back up Mount Chimney and. To the store. We'll have to fight um what's his face? Archie or Is it Archie the fight up there? I'm blanking on it right now. I actually don't know. Uh Mago Berry. I'm not really looking for any specific items right now, am I? Not really. Just fight you guys for the experience. Um definitely I'm gonna try to grab the items because I just because I played through this so many times I remember all the hidden items are. I'm gonna try grabbing as many as I can just to Oof. Uh, just to help improve my odds of being able to evolve everything, you know, when I need to. Okay, Shadow Punch you. Glasses on. I'm remembering this time. My Gamer Advantage classes. Mm -mm. I've, honestly, I can't, I still can't believe that this is, these have been so cool. I'm sorry if I feel like I've repeated it so many times, but. It's really been, like, amazing. I'm really excited about it. Uh, drill Peck you and Shadow Punch you. Oh. Exactly, you actually made it, so I can't click that again. You tormented me. You're tormenting me. Mm -mm. Also, thank you for everybody who has used the code and ordered stuff. Um, if any of you guys have ordered the... I've seen a couple people have ordered the, like, uh... They have, like, a powder for like you know water and stuff i don't there's like high end there's like energy increasing ones and there's ones that are like um like for sleep and stuff i've never tried anything like that if you guys have tried it please let me know how they are because i'm curious curious how they are ready gigas is kind of terrifying I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not gonna lie to you it's kind of terrifying oh, one shot that's huge i did not think that would one shot that's fine that's special we're chilling. Uh, karate chop and beetle arm. And we should be good. Mm -mm. Regigigas with no uh, slow start is <laughs> very terrifying. I think it was slacking. Every time you see a slacking, not, you just don't want to see a slacking. You just really want to not see them. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Last episodes have been kind of slow. I know that this part of the game, I think I kind of like told you guys it was going to be like this. This part of the game is just kind of a slow section. Um, I don't have a fire type right now, huh? Ugh. Little tuna pizza. Um, hopefully we'll get, you know, after this episode, we'll be able to get to a gym. What I could do, honestly, I could run the game at... I, I was running it at 150% for a little bit. I think I might just run it at 150%. It's not like super noticeable, the increase in speed, but it'll definitely help me get more done per episode. Uh, and the other random... Uh, the other emulators I usually use... Um, I... Um, I normally use some speed up to like speed through these slower sections so i think running at 150 percent will probably be better just for the pacing of the series and i don't want to just keep doing 25 minute episodes of just like random battles and even though i've been losing pokemon in those random battles because i'm just trash well at least you just navigating goes a little so much quicker now i'm gonna heal up real quick we did come back and get the experience shower already, obviously, so. Hopefully I'll find another one. If I can find more than one, that'd be amazing. I just heard a kitty. Kitty's coming to visit. Uh, let's put up a repel. There we go. Uh, uh, also, a lot of people have been asking about the soul link and wondering when me and Mac will be doing the soul link again. Uh, we don't have it scheduled yet. We haven't, like, really made any solid plans to do it, but I think when I get a little further into this playthrough, I'm, uh, 
going to be ready to start it back up with them. I just want to make sure I don't overwhelm myself. I don't, ever since the subathon ended, I've really been having an extremely hard time just like getting back into, you know, motivating myself to stream. It's kind of horrible, but just the extreme... What's the word? Like the extreme variation between, you know, just the rhythm I was in before the subathon into like how drastically my rhythm got ruined <laughs> during the subathon and then getting, you know, trying to get back into the routine afterwards. It's been such a, such a chaotic mess trying to get back into it. And just been a lot of stuff going on in general, like, you know, even outside of you know, streaming and whatnot, just life in general. So it's been, it's been a, is there a random guy climbing on the mountain? Does that always show up? Must be. Um, but yeah, it's just been, it's been a, you know, nightmare, honestly. Uh, just not really been feeling productive. I've been struggling to just get stuff done. You know, it's honestly during the subathon, I felt like I was doing what I think what it kind of is is during the subathon, I had so many things I was like, I can't do. I was like, man, I want to get this done and this done and this done, but I can't because I'm streaming. So I was thinking when the subathon's over, I have so many things I want to do. And I'm so excited to do all these wonderful things. And then the subathon ended and I was so exhausted and I did not end up being as productive as I wanted to be. You know, coming out of the subathon, I wanted to like start doing so many things and getting back into it. And I just could not. Um, I just, I really was having an extremely hard time, um, you know, self motivating and just being productive in general. You know, I was trying to focus on too many things at once. And when I do that, I just end up not focusing on any of them enough and it all ends up not working out. You know, I was like really trying to make sure I go to the gym and then I hurt my shoulder and that really set me back and, you know, ruined my mood for quite a while. Then... You know, shoulder's still not feeling good, man. It's just been... That's probably been the biggest issue for me, honestly. Just, you know, morale-wise, it's been terrible. The shoulder injury. It's been driving me insane. Okay. Hisuian Growlithe. We still don't have a water type on the team, which is kind of annoying. Uh, calm Mind. Not what I was expecting from you, I'm going to be honest. Get him out of here. Mouse hold. Go for the ancient power. Conversion. Interesting. Teeter dance. Oh, I got confused so many times just in this battle alone. Drives me nuts. Confusion is my... So annoying. Cry jump. Get him out. Shockwave. Mm. Ooh, there we go. Mm, mm, mm. Oh gosh, that hurt a lot. Uh, also, another thing I, I talked about it in my podcast episode that went up on my YouTube. Um, I don't think I've talked about it in any of these videos yet, but. I started playing that Pokey Rogue, which it's PokeyRogue.net. I tried putting the URL in and it didn't work. I had to actually like just Google it and find it from there. But you can play it on your phone and everything like that. And like, I've been wasting a lot of time playing that over the weekend and just watching basketball. It's kind of have been how I've been spending my weekend. <laughs> just been, well, I probably should have healed up. I didn't realize how high level you're going to be. Um, oh boy. Oh, gumbo. Um, but it's a really fun, you know, variation of Pokemon. If you're looking for something new to try. You have Dazzling Gleam for the coverage. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, and that did nothing. Why do you have to have Dazzling Gleam? That's so annoying. You swap out. Okay. Into Galarian Line Noon. That's that's okay. 
Um, I need to hit you with a fighting move. I'm fairy type right now. Go for the sludge bomb. Okay, I'm gonna super potion up tuna pizza. Thunder punch. Go directly into tuna pizza now. Also a taunt, that's perfect. Cry chop, get him out. Okay, I gotta focus up here. This might be bad. Alolan Monk. Um, I'm gonna shockwave. Your special defense is so good though. Oh, that's, that's all good. How much Cry chop can do? Not much more. Oh my god, this is oh weird. This is not good. Go dump one. Yeah, you get drill pick like crit. I got shield dust, so you can't poison me. What should that just do? Thirty-four damage. I like that the little tracker tells me how much damage things do. Things do. So he can't poison me with poison fang, but he can crit me. Uh, let's go with the full restore. Come on, Dumplin. You can't paralyze me. All right, triple pike. Good damage, good damage. Conversion into a resist, a rock type, crunch. And use super potion, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Spit up drop, perfect. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. I mean, we're not good. We're good with the muck. I have to stand on this. <laughs> Excuse me. Woo. All right, hopefully the rest of the team's really bad. Sandstream Whale Lord. Interesting. Um, I'll go Beatrice. Moon Blast. Oh, God. Doing nothing. Doing nothing. We're fine. We're fine. This team's coming together. Oh, you yeah. Okay, that was a crit. But oh, we outspeed, so we're good. Let's hit you with a nice little Giga Drain, and you're gone. And then, what do you have? Like, one mod left? What's your last? Oh, you have two left. Magic Harp. Laughable. Give me all that HP, all that scrumptious health points. <laughs> Giga Drain it all up. Gone. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Get me out of there. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, you crit me too. I don't know why I was thinking I was fine. That silver wind did so much. Alright, cheddar in the sand should be okay. Oh. Um, I go for my own silver wind. Even in the sand? Okay. I thought the sand ship was... I mean, this... I thought the sand special defense boost was going to be good enough. Apparently, I was wrong. Oh, God. Okay. I'm going down to 55. Just a double click. Charge does nothing. Oh, that's a waste of a turn. That doesn't really matter. I guess kind of even right there. We should live this. Yep. Okay, you're gone. All right. Uh, we lost two mons there almost for no reason. <sighs> we almost lost another. Antidotes, where are you? Oh, God. 
Okay. Let's super potion up Beatrice real quick. And let's get to a PC. Oh my god. Nothing in the PC is like leveled up or anything like that, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna. These battles aren't as difficult either. I'm not too worried about them. Oh, I could just dodge you. Nice. Earn heal. I could just dodge all the trainers. Ready? Look away. Look away. Look away. Called it. All right. Well, that was that was not cool. Um, don't know why I'm going to the Mart. That's not where I need to go. Cheddar was so good. Champles, I'm not so upset about that one. I mean, I wasn't really using it anymore. Uh, I gotta put Verizion on the team. I need to just get some, some Mons on here. Wait, who was the second one I just put on? Gus? I do kind of want a fire type. So you know what? Gus, welcome to the team. Welcome to the team. I need to get that slow. Oh, you know what I should do? I should take Gus off of the team and get that egg. Did I a flame body? I was like, I feel like for some reason I remember something having a flame body. Maybe it wasn't even in this playthrough, but for some reason I remember that. I don't know if flame body works in this generation for hatching eggs. Like if that's a passive effect of it, but I feel like it kind of is. Let's go get the item over here. Spell tag. I'll put that on the Sinisha. Um, I kind of want to hatch this egg. Like I kind of need to. I got flame body, so you know what? You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I haven't done this in a long time. I am going to hatch an egg in a video. Normally, I'll do it in between episodes or something like that. But you know what? We got flame body. This shouldn't take too long. Shouldn't take too long. I should actually check to see what the egg says. Well, it, it will take some time. I don't think that's a long egg hatching. Oh, come on, girl. Don't sit right there. Don't sit right there. Uh, While we're sitting here, any of you guys been watching the NBA playoffs? Any basketball enjoyers here? Um, I'm a Celtics fan, but like I'm... I always try to describe it as I'm a basketball fan before I'm a Celtics fan. Um, I definitely, above everything else, I do want the Celtics to win. But, like, if they lose, it's not, like, as heartbreaking as if, like, the Kansas City Chiefs lose. Like, I'm way more of a diehard Chiefs fan than a football fan. Um, that makes sense. You know, obviously, if the Chiefs win and stuff, it's great. If they lose, I'm obviously upset. I do want to see good games when I watch football, obviously, but the end of the day I want the Chiefs to win but with basketball I really just want to see good basketball games and like good competition and just you know watch great players be great um right now I think my favorite player has got to be Anthony Edwards I don't know something about the way he plays is just so fun to watch I've uh, been a big fan of his recently obviously I still think Jason Tatum's you know extremely good one of the top five players in the league top five I mean, an argue, we were arguing about this in stream the other day. So, kind of wanted to bring it over to the YouTube slash Facebook. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go watch the T-Wolves bury the Suns. Sweep them. That game's coming on, I think, in a little bit. It's almost 9 o'clock, right? I think it starts at 9. Um, so, it should be, should be starting soon. Look at that. It didn't take long at all. What do we got? Monferno. That is... Perfect, and let's get a nickname for you. Let's see what we got for nicknames available. Let's go. I missed. I didn't get an encounter on Jagged Pass. Jagged Pass. I gotta get an encounter up there. Uh. Let's see what we got. Mm -mm. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, 
I like lunchbox. Oh, hi, Zizi. Welcome on in. I swear Zizi doesn't come down here as much when I don't, like, make content and record. Uh, okay. Lunchbox. Clear body. Perfect. I thought they had you level 1, not level 5. Clear body's good, though. Um, I needed a fighting type and a fire type. Those are both really good typings. And that means I don't have to use the camel. Because the camel's bad. Apologize for anybody who's a fan of the camel. But... That I literally was putting this and this on the team. And Monferno gives me both of the typings I wanted from them, too. Um, I'm feeling Grimer as an option. Since I just almost got destroyed by a muck. Having a poison type seems kind of like a good thing. But you're going to evolve soon and you're going to be psych You're going to be psychic poison. So I don't need the poison typing. I could go Iggly buff. Could go Iggly buff. Do I really want a Wiggly tough on the team? Like, really? Don't. Really don't. I'm going to be honest. Just go Goomy. Go Goomy. 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 In the brain. Say Goomy. Goomy. Mm -mm. All right. Uh, let's go get the Jagged Pass encounter since I skipped that. Fight a couple trainers over there too because I still do need experience. Do need the experience. Gloom. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, big crit. I was about to say, I did not think that was going to one shot. It's the Raptor. Doing a tuna pizza. Tuna pizza's popping off. Flash fire. Let's go. I forgot I had flash fire. We're popping off, baby. Look at you go. Okay. Uh, I need to put the other bike. That noise is hilarious. All right. What do we got? A Hasuian Sneasel. Interesting. It's an interesting Pokemon. Let me see what we got for nicknames here. Uh, let's go with Ringo. I don't know why. I feel like I I never remember like what names I use and like, who I use them from. I read the comments and it's the same people commenting all the time, pretty much. So I always like read them and sometimes I hesitate. I'm like, did I use this person's nickname last time? And you know, sometimes I really do try to pick names from different people. Um, I know sometimes people get lucky and I end up picking their nicknames multiple times, but I do try to switch it up when I can. Uh, let's check what the ability is on that. Did I miss any other abilities? I mean, any other items? I have, I mean, uh, encounters. Wow, Breezy, figure it out. You have clear body as well. Wow, what are the odds? Um, I don't know how you evolve. The game will tell me, though, if I put you there. Level 40. Okay. And Gumi is level 40 as well. I don't remember if Gumi has it. Because Gumi's got to evolve into... I don't know if it's just preset. If it evolves into the Hisuian one at level 40. Or if it evolves into the regular one. I don't know. Either way, it would be a good mon. I prefer the steel one, though. For sure. Um, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to lead with Dumpling. It's pretty good. Having Stab, Crunch, and Drill Peg is both really good. I do want to get this evolved. I'm going to pretty much use this core four Pokemon and go from there. It's a good... It, honestly, it kind of works out. And then after you evolve, I'm going to start working on these guys. Um, I really can't afford because Gumbo is just not good enough right now. But once it turns into a slow bro, it'll definitely be good enough. So I need to make sure I get that evolved. I'm just going to run with this core four team right here and we'll go through the gym. In the, it's going to be another semi short episode, but we'll go through the gym in the next episode. Hopefully make it through with these four. Um, I'm not locked into the gym, so if I feel like. I'm about to play the gym leader, and I feel like I'm definitely hurting for levels. I might go grind up or something like that, but uh, yeah, wrap it up here, and make sure you leave nicknames, comments, all those things, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.